Hi guys, today we're going to be talking about exponents and specifically what is called the product rule of exponents. We're going to just jump right into an example and then after that we will talk about the rule itself. So let's go ahead and write our example p to the third times p to the fourth. Our job here is to both expand it and then also determine what the result is. What I want us to notice here, first of all, is that we are multiplying together two things. We're multiplying p to the third times p to the fourth. What I also want us to notice here is that both terms, p to the third and p to the fourth, have the same base, p, p, okay? So let's expand this out. We remember that an exponent is how many times you multiply this base to its by itself. So first thing, let's expand p to the third. We know that p to the third is p times p times p, okay? This right here is equal to p to the third. Let's now expand p to the fourth. Remember, I'm including that multiplication between our terms because there is a multiplication, but let's expand the second one. P times P times P times P. This whole guy right here is P to the fourth. Four P's, okay? Let's count them up now. Let's count them up. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven P's multiplied together. In other words, we can say that p to the third times p to the fourth is equal to p to the seventh. What I want you guys to notice here is that our exponents, three and four, if you add those together, guess what? You get seven. So let's go ahead and write down a rule for the product rule. the product rule. I'm gonna go ahead and grab some colors. If we have a base value of a, I'm just using a generic variable, to the nth power times a to the nth power, we can say that we can simplify it actually down to a to the m plus nth power. That right there is our product rule. Whenever we have the same base being multiplied together with those exponents, all we need to do is we need to add the exponents together. Okay, not too bad. So let's just go ahead and do one more quick example. u to the second times u to the fifth. Okay, we know that we can, again, we know already our exponent rule. We know that this is gonna be u to the seventh power because we can just add them together based on our rule. But just in case we forget, let's write it out. U times U, that's U to the second, times U times U, three, four, five. We have U to the second times U to the fifth. We know that our result is U to the seventh power. Go ahead and make sure that this rule is very boldly written. You might even want to put a big box around it. I'm gonna go ahead and cloud this off so that it tells us that it's something that's really important that we need to make sure is very visible in our notebooks. Okay guys, make sure that's written out. Have a good night.